Hey everybody, today we're practicing English conversation. Today's topic is going to be sports. How do you ask a question and answer a question? Ask a question and answer a question. Uh, before we start, two things. Where are you from? And why do you want to improve your English? That's all. Please comment below. Let's get started. English conversation. Sometimes you're not sure how to answer. Answer properly, answer with proper grammar. Uh, a clear short answer so let's just review some questions and answers regarding sports so the question is hey do you like sports do you like sports and there's different ways you can answer you can say sure I like sports sure means is another way to say yes sure I like sports you could say no way I hate sports no way just means no but it's stronger no way I hate sports if you're not sure if you like sports or don't like sports you can say they're okay they're okay why do you ask why do you ask that continues the conversation if you say why do you ask now they have to reply you could say I like to watch but I don't play so there's a difference between when you say do you like something especially with sports just because you like something doesn't mean you play a sport. So you could say, I like to watch, but I don't play. I like to watch, but I don't play. And if I'm not good at sports at all or anything physical, we can use this word. We can say athletic. I am not athletic. I'm not athletic. I am not good at sports. If somebody asks you, do you play any sports? You can answer. I play football I play football or if you if you played sports in the past but you don't play now like for football for example you can use this phrase which we did another le a different lesson on used to you can say I used to play football that means I don't now but I did in the past I used to play football and if you don't play football, but you hope you can play football in the future, you could say, I would like to. I would like to learn how to play football. Okay. If I say, what sports do you like? Do you like? Well, what does that mean? What sports do you like? Some sports we watch, some sports we play. So you can clarify. You can say, well, what do you mean? To watch or to play? To watch or to play? So that's kind of a phrase. That's not a complete sentence, but if we're having a conversation, it's okay. What sports do you like? I don't know, to watch or to play? And I say, I say both, both. You can say, well, I'd like to watch football, but I like to play tennis. So we're using two different verbs. We're using watch and play. And we're use, also using like to, which means I enjoy, okay? So these are just very basic conversation uh, sentences. When you're talking about a topic, I'm gonna do lots of different topics. I've got a list of lots of topics. We're gonna review all those. You could say, I don't like any sports. Any means zero. I don't like any sports. I like music. You can also say, I prefer music. I prefer music. If I ask you, is it easy? Is it easy to play uh, that sport? Because before here, you said, uh, you said, I like, I play tennis. You said, I play tennis. Okay, so you play tennis. Is it easy to play tennis? You could say, it wasn't at first, but it is now. What does that mean, at first? At first means at the beginning. Anytime you start something new, you're probably not very good, so you have to practice. So we say at first. You can say sure, but it takes a lot of practice. Check this out. We use this verb takes. So we're not taking anything away. Take means um, requires. It requires practice, but we could say it takes practice. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes focus. It takes energy. Uh, it takes dedication. It takes dedication. Like what I said right here, dedication. Commitment. Focus. 
that sport popular in your country? So we're still talking about tennis. Is that sport popular in your country? Again, you could say, sure. Of course. Of course, that means yes, 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 yes. Sure, of course. Sure, of course. Yes, yes, yes. It's popular all over the world. All over means everywhere. All over means everywhere. All over, everywhere. Okay. Just like that. You can also say yes, because all you need, all you need, again, that's all you require, is a tennis racket and a tennis ball. So if I say, if I can't say require, what's the word that we used earlier? All it takes. You can say all it takes is a tennis racket and a tennis ball. All it takes, all you need. All right. Simple sentences, everybody. Simple sentences. But sometimes you have to practice these so that you become more familiar and comfortable with conversation. How long have you been playing? I want to show you this. If my question for you is how long, if I say, have you been playing? This is a present perfect continuous form. When I ask you a present perfect continuous form, you should answer in a present perfect continuous form, which means you would say, I have been playing tennis for 10 years. Right, But in English, there's different ways that we can answer. We can use different verb forms, but we have to make sure that the grammar all matches. It all, it's all the same. So you, if you want to say, I started, that's when you began. I started playing. Then you say, when. I started playing when I was 15. Or you can use the present perfect continuous. I have been playing. But then you have to say, since. So let's review. How long have you been playing that sport? You could say, I have been I have been playing tennis for 10 years. I started playing when I was 15. I have been playing since I was 15. Okay. Who do you play sports with? Who do you play with? All right. You can say, I play sports with my friends. With my friends. But we can also change, we can have the same answer, but just change the sentence structure, change the grammar. You can start with, my friends and I play sports together. My friends and I. So you can say, I play with my friends, or my friends and I play together. Same, same meaning, just different structure. So, okay, so there's just some basic questions and simple answers on how you can have a conversation. And this one is about sports. And as I mentioned, I've got lots of different topics that we're going to review with sample questions. And I will show you sample answers so that you can get more familiar and comfortable with conversation. Before you leave, I hope you're still here. Before you leave, can you like my video? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'm glad you're here glad you're here and again before we finish two questions where are you from and why do you want to improve your English please comment in the section below and I will see you next time let me know if you have any questions you can always write questions in the in the box down below I'll answer everybody all right so I'll see you next time have a great day bye bye everybody